it was, uh, it was really nice. Uh, I lost my job in 2008, and then uh, my wife was pregnant, and I went to bookstore and I found WordPress book, and I learned uh, myself. And uh, while googling, I found uh, there are people who come together and learn things. Joined, and I um, began like organizing stuff, and uh, um, I did that. And then there was uh, 70. Uh, uh, volunteers and they are still friends. It's really nice to have uh, this, this thing. I work with them, I talk with them, I have uh, my uh, after party with them. So the concept of the whole camp there was uh, like more uh, everyone show up and it's not just like uh, someone would be in the front and talking to the audience but it was like um, so community can have their mood and uh, ev everyone like uh, come, um, come there and, uh, it's like not to one to end, but it's an end to end. Like uh, people can talk to each other, people go to uh, the booth and stuff, and so it looked like this. And in 2013, I moved to Bangkok, uh, Ekamai. And uh, I noticed that uh, I want uh, WordPress friends uh, here too. <laughs> and I looked for a uh, community, and I noticed that there was none. So, I decided to have, uh, first I decided to have three uh, meetups, like English, Japanese, and Thai, and uh, only Thai survived. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it was, uh, it's an important space, and I can see uh, some places um, here, which are here, this um, meetup, uh, many are here, yeah, <laughs> yeah and the uh, organizers are here too, so yeah, it was really great. So I run um, one meetup per month, and I, continue, I just continued that. Like, uh, and this was the most successful one. Uh, that's the reason I chose this feature. But like, uh, we had like a meetup with only ten people, something. Yeah, we just like uh, come together and talk. Uh, yes. And uh, this was why I was working at the, the same working space. And uh, two years ago, I moved back to Japan. So, and again, uh, it's, uh, I live on an island with 100 people and uh, 50 cats and wild boars and insects. And uh, it's called Ogijima. Yeah. So it's a very small island. And there I have a WordPress meetup. And this is how it looks like. So this is, a, um, this is my wife, a friend of mine. She also led the one camp of Osaka one time. And Three of us live on the island, and the others come by ferry, 40 minutes from uh, Takamatsu city. And uh, this is a uh, this was a uh, I think global translation day meetup. Yeah. Uh, this is my wife, and newborn uh, baby. Uh, kids are there, and I have new dogs. So this is me. Okay. So um, about. Um, WordPress in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure if this number is really correct, <laughs> but uh, sourcing from uh, wctext.com, it says uh, if you look at the website and if they use some kind of CMS, 85% of uh, uh, the CMS is WordPress, it says. But I, um, I, I'm not sure about this number, but it's really out. And if you look at this globally, 6% uh, of the WordPress installed in, Japan, in the like, home world, it's uh, running uh, the Japanese locale. Yeah, so it's quite loud. Okay, so and as I started learning WordPress with the books, uh, there are really a lot of books. So if you search WordPress, in Amazon.co.jp, uh, you find uh, 365 books. Like they are really real paper books. Yeah, not uh, yeah. yeah. And this is mine. And it looks like uh, if you publish a WordPress book itself, so publisher comes to community and uh, look for the next authors. So it's like uh, you join the community and uh, you learn and you share your knowledge and then publish a book. <laughs> yeah. Works that way. 
Yeah. So meetups. Uh, in Japan, we have uh, over 25 meetups like, every month. Uh, yeah, everywhere. So it's a Google <laughs> calendar. It's linked from ja.wordpress.org. And uh, I cannot, we cannot see this uh, clearly, but it says um, Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, Nagasaki, Miyazaki. Yeah, so it's everywhere. Yeah. So we can like look at these numbers, but there are people who really come to these places, and then uh, they talk something. Yeah. So maybe uh, they have like new people every time, and uh, someone is talking something. <coughs> so it's uh, quite impressive. Okay. So I'm gonna talk about history. Why it's like this yeah. now? So one pressing. Japan started in 2003. Uh, and if you know uh, when WordPress project started, it's quite early. Yeah. So WordPress is a fork of another software uh, called V2, and it was a uh, like uh, licensed software. And then uh, Malenwell and Mike Little uh, decided to fork it and named it WordPress, and just after six months, a uh, Japanese user uh, found it and he thought uh, he would maintain the Japanese version. Uh, yeah. And then around this time, uh, WordPress did not have the ability to translate it like, uh, effectively. So it means you go into all the files and you just like uh, rewrite all the English to Japanese and he did it uh, for almost every version. So I'm, I was not here. <coughs> uh, yeah, we need to wait five years. Uh, and 2004, I found this uh, very interesting. But Potsukare, uh, the main uh, maintainer of the Japanese version, um, he posted uh, um, some this thing on the support forum, and it says localization of needed. So it's uh, it's opened 14 years ago. And it has uh, 100 comments. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, like web archive of the uh, uh, Japanese version page. Uh, it was called WordPress Me. And so this is the forum. Like you can still look at this. And it says, "Hi, I, uh, this is Otsukare from Japan, and uh, I have a problem in translation." So I have a uh, like suggestion, and then it says uh, translate language files like lang de or lang fr, lang ja or php thing, uh, so that you can just edit that file to translate everything. And in this uh, thread, uh, some people are talking about get text. And here, as a forum moderator, a moderator <laughs> is here. yeah, yeah. He says that like uh, well, the localization code should be go into the main release sometime soonish. Yeah. So now like we can uh, translate that very easily, and you can reuse the translation uh, you have done. Yeah. So great work uh, for Scott Yes. And WordCamp. The first WordCamp was held in two thousand eight. And uh, 60 people showed up. So now, uh, the 2012 one, uh, we had uh, 1,400 people. Now. And then it, it was combined with the uh, uh, PHP conference. And uh, if you combine that, like people could go, come and go to both, both sides. So it was over 2,000. 60 people is really uh, like a small number. And since then, uh, Japan has had uh, 22 world camps uh, every year. Yes. Yeah, he, here, they are talking about like, external RPC. Uh, okay, I'm going to talk about like, many things, but I start with world camps. So they look like this. 
yeah, like a usual like a session style. Maybe this was a workshop, like how to uh, rebuild your website from your back. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is like lightning talk, I guess. Um, yeah, and this one uh, we have uh, tatami, the Japanese floor. We brought that and uh, to to set up a place uh, where you can come and join together. And booth. Um, so this one is a, a like a sponsor booth. And this is a, a bookstore. We um, invited bookstore to come to the venue so that people can buy PHP books, and books, and uh, of course WordPress books. And this is a jam session happening in the Kansai area. So they uh, picked uh, the artists from the code name of uh, WordPress versions. <laughs> they play the music in the lunchtime. It was really nice. And uh, this one, it says um, uh, boot tour. So um, companies um, offer the sponsorship to, to the WordCamps. And our issue was um, that uh, not everyone goes to the booth. So, um, Maybe two times a day they have a booth tour, and uh, we take everybody okay, and say, "Hey, this company does this, and uh, this is this. He will have uh, one minute tour, and then you go to the next one." And, stuff like that. and we have um, contributors' days. I joined the uh, World Camp San Francisco in 2012, thanks to the like they paid uh, some money for my uh, trip to San Francisco. And, uh, it was really helpful. And I noticed that they are doing something. Like they work together on WordPress.org thing. And since then, um, WordCamp Tokyo and Osaka Day uh, always have another uh, contributors day. And interesting thing is that, that um, every time we ask uh, how many have uh, done it before, or who has who who are here uh, for the first time, and 70% of uh, like audiences are like. First time. Uh, it means like we lose someone like, uh, every time, but like um, uh, I'm sure that there, there are some people remain and continue work on it. Yeah, so it's really great. Uh, we mainly do the uh, theme review, uh, documentation, and translation, and uh, uh, a little bit of uh, co contributions and uh, WPC CLI. Yes. Yeah. So everyone can have uh, like a nice thing. Stamps, and uh, this is a cake, and uh, that was uh, <laughs> someone came to us and uh, they set up a booth and uh, he said, "Okay, I'm gonna draw your face." <laughs> yeah. So uh, this year, uh, Japan will have um, uh, what can Tokyo? I guess it's not confirmed yet, and it's confirmed that like, Osaka will have one, and. Then we'll come another one. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I said, it's a hundred people and fifty cats. It's a very small island. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have uh, at the school gym. Uh, we expect 150 people to come uh, around this area and from all Japan and all, all. You're welcome. But um, what I'm trying to do this uh, to to do here is. To have the first world camp, which is not held in the, uh, big cities, like somehow, like it, it sounds like okay, world camps, uh, they should be in really big cities, but uh, uh, it's not. Right? Like uh, if you have 50 people and uh, you talk about WordPress the whole day, then uh, it's it's world camp. So I want to show um, that everyone can do this uh, by doing <laughs> small <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. So all the organizers, are, there are many organizers who have not done like organization, like organizing before. So I have to work. Okay. So next, uh, world bench. Uh, we call it uh, world bench. <laughs> yeah, and it has a logo. Um, yeah. So we have a website. It's it's uh, we have like a one bench Tokyo. It's a local meetup. So. We started before like meetup.com came in. So we, we set up our website. 
uh, yeah, like it's a usual one. <coughs> so, um, and it looks like this. <laughs> yeah, like everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so, these uh, events are the one you saw in the calendar. And that calendar includes more, uh, more like more than one bench, like small uh, meetups, which is not called one bench, but they follow the rules. So, uh, local meetups in Japan are called Workbench, and the website it was um, launched in 2008 by Takayuki Miyoshi. Uh, he's the author of uh, Contact Form 7. Yeah, but he's also like a great thinker. And uh, at the WordCamp, he presented uh, that hey, we need to have some places, or maybe name, and a website, so that we can come together and uh, like talk. Like locally. So it's a Valley Press uh, website. And, uh, I forgot the version uh, number, but it was like a really early like a Valley Press. And uh, currently we have uh, 59 world benches uh, everywhere. So and I run world bench all this year. So we have world camp, world bench, and uh, we have a lot more world something. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the first one is World Slack. Uh, so so it's a Slack team for Japanese WordPress com contributors. So we have community channel, translate channel, uh, theme review channel, and random and uh, everything. Yeah. And now we have uh, 391 members. So every time we have contributors, they, uh, we ask them to join here so that we can send the files or like, links. And uh, some of them remain and uh, keep working on things yeah, they they learn and uh, uh, contribute. So it's a, it, it works as a like a hub uh, to communicate online. Yeah, it's a, it's really good too. Yeah, next one is a word karta. We call it karta. It's a card game. So um, you play like this. And it's also translated into English. We have English version too. So it works like uh, we have two types of cards. So questions and answers. <laughs> yeah, and it says like, uh, uh, for example, like uh, it's a template tag uh, to output your um, page or post. Then uh, you, you need to choose. Oh, okay, that's the company. <laughs> and you, you collect the files, and uh, uh, the more you have, you. like people 
So why don't you do other things? <laughs> so they are like this kind of like a wood bench cooking club. Yeah, they are pretty good friends. Uh, they go by. Uh, to the wall, 
like uh, people who are more free in the world. <laughs> and then they have to do, they, they're like riding uh, like, uh, their bikes and uh, like uh, uh, lying down and uh, yeah, so it's evolving really uh, nicely. Yeah, so it started from Japan, but uh, it's it's already gro global, and uh, it's not uh, it's it's a, everybody's um, uh, working now, yeah, and it's really great. Okay, so uh, one thing is uh, some yeah, here's the author of this API. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I put it on API. Uh, Someone else. 
So uh, WordPress community told me a lot of things, um, and then uh, it's, it's it includes uh, like how how you build things or uh, choose for meetings or uh, run events, and uh, we made friends. So um, I, if you enjoy this community, um, you can start uh, from many things, and uh, so please do the same thing to your next class. Yep. Uh, so that's the end. Uh, do you have any questions? Thank you. Thank you. 